So thank you for coming to my session. I'm a Masahiko Kato, the CEO of Mizuho Bank, which is a Japanese global bank and a member of GCBS. I'm grateful for the opportunity to share my thought with all of you in terms of the agenda, how banks promote sustainability business. Nowadays, sustainability is a relevant topic, especially decarbonization, and it is becoming an essential part of doing business globally. I would like to inform you about Mizuho's key role to support KSA's sustainability ambitions. Japan enjoys very strong ties with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. For example, Japan is importing 19% of our crude oil from the Middle East. The Middle East is getting much attention because of the accelerating decarbonization efforts on a global scale and growing concern over energy security with respect to the current situation in Russia and the Ukraine. For instance, Japan and the Kingdom have signed a clean energy agreement called the Lighthouse Initiative. This agreement is to set up supply chain of clean energy in South, such as hydrogen and mineral resources. Critical to KSA achievement is sustainability targets. Also, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida visited the Middle East, including South, back in July this year, and signed multiple MOUs in a member of field include decarbonization. Here are three examples of Japanese technologies. First, Hitachi Energy, which signed on MOU in South, has a presence in the field of international transmission line. The Middle East has vast land suitable for solar power generation. The transmission line that carries electrically generated at a distance with minimal power loss in an essential technology. At the same time, technology that concerns across borders and with mutual interconnectivity is absolutely necessary to spread renewable energy. Hitachi Energy's technology is already used in the South Egypt transmission project and NEON, the world's first digital smart city. Second, Kawasaki Heavy Industry hydrogen transportation technology is also attracting attention from all over the world. We need technology that carries vast amount of hydrogen in a safe and efficient way in order to make use of hydrogen as next generation energy. Kawasaki Heavy Industries is the first company to develop a ship for carrying liquid hydrogen. While ammonia is attracting attention as a hydrogen carrier, there are some issues such as energy loss in the conversion of hydrogen to ammonia. In the case of liquidified hydrogen, the transported hydrogen can be used as is. Liquidified hydrogen also has a problem of large transportation technology. However, if it can be successfully scaled up, significant cost reductions can be expected. The last case study is Kobe Steel. The Middle East is also attracting a lot of attention from Japan in the field of clean iron. Direct reduced iron is a new generation iron making process that doesn't require blast furnace. 14% of carbon dioxide that is emitted in Japan comes from the iron industry. 
as such, the carbonization is the critical issue in the sector. A lot of Japanese companies are planning projects in the Middle East where you can buy cheap natural gas, which is used for direct reduced iron. Kobe Steel, which is a Japanese steel manufacturer, and its 100% owned company, Midorex, is irreplaceable in the steel industry because it has 60% market share in the field of direct reduced iron. What I just told you is only a tip of the iceberg when it comes to high quality Japanese technology. However, those technologies can support the hydrogen supply chain. Japan would like to contribute to the supply chain in the field of sustainability, not only as off-taker, but also technology provider. As a Japanese financial institution, Mizuho hopes to serve as a bridge between the two countries. Miss has been doing business in Saudi for more than 60 years. We also have a strong presence as a front runner in the field of sustainable finance. For example, we participated in Neom's Green Ammonia project in Saudi as a tier one lender. We ranked number one in the world last fiscal year in the sustainable finance syndicated loan league tables. What I just share with you are our achievements in this field of technology only. We are also playing as advisory role in the field of decarbonization and renewable energy. Mizuho would also like to contribute to creating new businesses by taking action, such as introduction clients and technologies to both South and Japan. We are going to offer you the best solutions in the field of sustainability by taking prompt action. What can we do in the next 30 years in order to create a better future? We promise you that we are going to make a great difference as Saudi's best partner in order to create a prosperous future. Thank you very much for your attention.